Hello, I'm Barbara. Today we'll be painting an easy cityscape. I'll be using the Wacom Winters tablet and Artridge Lite. I'm beginning with a selection tool to create a shape that I can use as a guideline. Then I fill my selection with color using the bucket tool. And another on the right. Let's put a blank layer on top and use the pencil tool to sketch. Next, I'll clean up with the eraser tool. To get a quick result, I'll use the paint roller to fill out my shapes roughly. Then clean up using the eraser again. I'll add another layer for our sky and pull it down behind the buildings. I'll use a light blue for contrast. We'll use colors now to stagger some of these buildings. I'll duplicate this layer, switch to the tube tool and select a new color. Using the tube, I can add some paint to these areas and then come back with a palette knife to spread the thick paint. We don't need to worry about going over these lines since we have a duplicate of the shape layer. I'm just going to continue using the tube and palette knife with some color variation here. As you can see, I'm following some of the lines of our shapes. I'll add some vertical lines here. They will feel like part of the building, maybe giving an idea of windows. If we make any horizontal lines, be aware that this angle will change. I'll just add some more paint and return to the palette knife again. I'm keeping in mind which building is standing in front of which as I add paint and choose my colors. We've got a lot of paint here now, so let's move it around. Don't add too much pressure. We want to keep some texture here. Move your hand in a continuous crosshatch motion. I'll use some darker tones to accent this architectural element. The yellow and orange will add some sun here. At this point, our sky needs some work. I'll select the layer, put some paint down and start to spread it with a palette knife. You'll see here that it shows through our buildings, so we'll need to flatten it in those areas. On the left, we have a dark section that I'm going to add some contrast to. A bit of paint and back to the palette knife. Let's turn off our sketch and have one last look at the edges. I'm using the eraser to get rid of any visible parts of our outline shapes. I'll do this for both layers. Finally, I'm going to switch back to my pencil and harden some of the contours. One benefit of digital painting is that you can combine techniques that would not mix in natural media. I'm happy with this. I hope you learned something today. The tube and palette knife combination is one of my favorite techniques. Thank you so much for watching.